So Garrett built his own six axis a six axis controller with two block. Some stuff. It's kinda cool. Wow. Go left. Can you go left? Oh my god, this is awesome. So why do we need it in a you know, PS three or whatever? Huh. Now I've got an accelerometer on here. It's actually a three axis controller. Control the throttle, and I've got eight buttons. We're using the Q block to handle the data acquisition for the axes or axi or whatever. And a cool. small circuit I designed with the USB microcontroller to actually handle the joystick um, joystick command. Awesome! Wow, six axis controller for the PC. Well, similar to it, but. Will you, will you have documentation soon? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. write this up. Alright, cool. But you can see, it's kind of fun. Go, go, go all the way backwards. Can you do that? Uh, like do a loop? Yeah, do a loop. Uh-oh, oh, whoa! Dang, that is tight. Now you have a, you can build your own? How much does it cost to build one of these? Um, well, you can do this with the smallest Q block available. Yeah. Um, you can also use like the hardware that I, I chose like a dollar and a half in quantity. So it's probably like twenty bucks plus the Q block to actually get this going. So like seventy bucks you can make one of these? Yeah. And you can wow. add way more accesses. You can add dozens and dozens of button inputs if you want to. Uh hat switches this is cool. and all kinds of good stuff. What is this game? Uh, it's just a... Uh, oh, is this free? It's a, just a game demo. Oh. Uh, Heroes of the Pacific came out last year. Cool. So, I'm not very good at you it. You should give me a copy of this game. Huh. So I can play it. <laughs> anyway, that was preview of the 6-axis controller for PC. Yippee!